Hello and welcome everybody. Today we are back in the Force of the Fallen Giants and are finally going to be finishing off a few of the uh, bosses that I've been promising for a while. I know that I... Oh dear. There we go. Looks like that first one hit and I just didn't realize. No. No, I can actually kill these guys in one shot with this fancy schmancy upgraded spear. That really should tell you what its damage numbers are looking like. I got it upgraded all the way to plus four in the interim between now and last episode and I also pumped up my stats to the absolute minimum required to wield it one-handed so I've got 18 dex and 11 strength with this thing come on there we go the light attack is a bit more vertical a bit higher off the ground than the strong attack so you kinda need to watch that there we go roll right past that and now I can take them head on Pierce right through. There we go. Now I'm set to take him on as he comes for. Oh dear. There we go. Wait for him to whiff and just come in for the punish. Now that I've got all these guys cleared, I can take the elevator on down and face off against the last giant. Or the quote unquote last giant, because honestly, he's nothing of the sort, but that's pretty well established at this point. None of that stuff down there, but. Uh, just gonna be waiting down this elevator ride. Now we take down this one S-Stock wielder, and we'll be preset. That's got that really iconic cross guard of the S-Stock, that's how you know. Generally speaking, most people can take him out without even figuring out what his moveset is, but it is an S-Stock, and it is just as annoying as you would think an S-Stock wielder would be. There we go. You can see how difficult it is, oh dear, how difficult it is to manage your spacing and rolls against a boss when you're in first person mode like this. There we go, punish his leg. Now he should take this opportunity to break off his other arm. That's great, which means I get three free stabs. Oh dear, I'm stuck on his leg here. Need to roll out, wait for him to step down and get the last two punish, oh. You see, it's so difficult. Oh. <laughs> the chances. What are the odds? Okay. I think the fact that I died to the last giant should really... If it's, if it's not clear by now, it should really stress to you just how difficult this first-person mod is. And now we get to showcase a little bit of the weirdness that comes along with it in that... Every time you go through a load screen, you actually exit first person mode. So let's fix that up and get right back into it. Hopefully this second attempt will do a smidge better. Because honestly, I'm a, I'm a little bit ashamed. The, the last giant hasn't killed me in so very long. To have it take me down on a recorded run, that's kind of sad. It makes sense because I am doing this first person modded run. It's gonna be a lot more difficult, but gosh, I don't have any adaptability, so my rolls are utter trash, and I just didn't manage my spacing properly. I probably should have healed instead of getting greedy, but I thought I had him, and I paid the price. But that's, that's what you gotta think about going into combat, is are, am I gonna be greedy? Am I gonna go for the kill shot, or am I gonna try and play it safe and just avoid getting hit at all costs? There we go. 200 damage versus a boss. It is really great, even if those are counter hits. It doesn't quite discount the fact. Oh dear. It's very easy to lose track of the guy as well, because of how you're walking around and how he contorts his model. Oh, there we go. Let's come in for the punish. Oh, and then I misjudge my ranging with that sprinting attack. It's just so easy to mess up in the littlest of ways. Oh my goodness. There's just so much going wrong with this fight. Okay, there we go. Time th that roll properly. Let's see if I can get behind him. Bait him into that attack. Roll out, and I should get two free punishes. No! no. Oh, he lifted his leg. There we go. Now I'm behind him. One last kill shot. Nope. I don't know how that missed, but it did. But I got it. V 
victory achieved. That was... That was down to the wire there. I was not sure if I was going to be able to pull it off that second time through. But that's what this mod does to you. It really throws you through a loop, especially when you start fighting really massive enemies like that. It is positively frightening. Honestly, that is like the first time I've ever found the last giant frightening. Even in the base game, like in the very first time I played through, he was more imposing than frightening. No, in, in this modded version, he is downright frightening due to both his size and the threat that he actually poses now, because he does pose a threat, as opposed to usual. Let's turn this around. Let's see what we can do. Are we going to handle you? No, I mucked up that parry. Let's try that again. Oh, dear. Those, I hate that three, three attack. It's only good if you're specifically baiting it so that you can get a parry. There we go. Oh dear. There we go. Sometimes you do just need to kite around. <sighs> Maybe I should take a page out of their book and turtle behind my shield. There we go. See how you like it. Oh, humbug. What is going on? That's another problem, is that when you kind of lose yourself in the melee and start forgetting about what exactly commands you're inputting, you can completely lose track of what's happening and just be absolutely lost. Once you lose context in a fight like that, you, you really just need to restart things and hope that you can get a better handle on it coming in the second time around. Otherwise, you're pretty, you're pretty well screwed. Bad things happen when it when you start losing track of what's going on and which inputs are queued, and that is a surefire way to just get yourself killed. But we managed to make it all the way up here, get some replacement life gems throughout, and now we're on to our second boss. I'm not going to bother going back to refill my Estus because I can just use life gems. And nonetheless, I can come on up and circle strafe. Oh god. Parry. Miss the parry. Oh god. This is difficult. Let's see if I can get the unlock turnaround. I can, but I really, really need to... There we go. Get the parry. Get the parry. Get the free punish. Let's lock on again. Oh, that was a failed parry. Let's roll out. Let's, let's roll out properly. There we go. I need him to mess it up one more time. There we go. Now I got time to heal. If he comes forward, I can parry. And I can't parry. I die. Ouch. Well, okay. For all you playing along at home, that has been two deaths thus far. And hopefully it won't be growing anytime soon. But, you know, it very well may be just a bit unavoidable. All these bosses, especially going forward from this Force of the Fallen Giants, are going to be pretty much blind, as I've never tried out this mod versus anyone outside of the forest. So, it's going to be anybody's guess how that's all going to work from this point forward. I may end up just turtling behind my shield a lot more, or trying more adventurous parries, but we're going to have to figure something out because... This, this just regular way of going about things is quite obviously not cutting it for me. In fact, it's just getting me cut, which is suboptimal to say the least. But luckily the run back is nothing too egregious. I can come right back on up and try that all out again. I, I think what I'm going to try and do this time is bait him into attacking me in front of the one of the ballistae and parrying him right around here. Ready? Go. There we go. If I can run over and pull this off. Let's... Oh, I mucked it up. Let's see. Did it work? Did it work? Nope, I missed. And he's coming after me with a vengeance. But he failed all that. Roll out. Let's, let's try that again a little bit closer this time. There we... Oh, dear. Missed the parry. He goes for his thrusting attacks. And I lose track. There we go. Line parry. Oh, he killed it. I did not notice. Let's try that again. There we go. Get the parry. 
I may just have to abuse parrying him. And then staring at his crotch while I poke him repeatedly. That seems to be the working strategy. There we go. Stab, stab to punish. Back it up. Let's see. No, I mistimed that. But I make it out okay. Let's see if I can bait him into the second ballista, because he hasn't destroyed this one. Parry. Beautiful. I got the parry sound, so I know it's good. But he wasn't quite properly positioned. This will be properly positioned, but that's not parryable. I don't know, at least. Okay, there we go. This should be the death of him. Come on, come on. Oh, he dodged it. Humbug. And I failed the parry. Oh, dear. Things are looking grim, looking grim indeed. Oh, I picked a poor place to Estus. Come on, right here. Come at me. We are right in front of the Ballista. Let's see what you do. Nope, I don't know. Oh, that's the Ballista destroyed. Bugger all. Ooh, ouch. That was a beautiful follow-up on his part, and I failed the parry, so... Oh. Yep, get the crotch shot. Loving it. Loving it. Okay. The kidney gloves are off. I've stripped off everything that is not absolutely essential, and we're going in with a legitimate parrying shield. None of that small shield nonsense. We are going to get things done, and we are not taking no for an answer. Hopefully, having these extra parry frames and the further roll distance will facilitate our victory, but only time will tell. I still have to face the blighted jerk. There we go. Wait for him to fail that, and I can punish. What do we get? Just some trash armor. I don't know what I'm really expecting, because most of their drops are going to be trash at this point, but I, I'm hoping maybe I get something that can help out, like maybe a life gem or two. Just anything to... Oh, like this. Anything to kind of buff up my healing supplies if I'm going to be burning through them like this. And boys, this this is turning to great on me myself. Got my parry shield ready. Hopefully this third time will be the proverbial charm. Rush right on over and see if I can parry him right here. There we go. Get the parry. Get the blind ballista. There we go. Not all of his health, but definitely a sizable portion. Go for my... There we go. Just wanted to get my souls back. Get that lovely crotch shot going on. Come on. Right, right back at you, buddy. Perry City, folks. Now, time to get away. Wait for him to come at me. Oh, I parried a smidge too early. Not even the parry shield can fix that up. Oh, no. I'm in a poor position to abuse the parry here. Let's see if this will do it. Come on. No, I don't want to find out if that's parryable because if it isn't, I'm going to have a bad day. I don't think I can pull off the ballista, but I'm going to try anyway. Oh, he wasn't in his proper positioning. Oh, that sounds like the ballista is broken, and it is. Come on, come on. I need to parry you. Or I could just, you know, die. Okay, something's got to break, and it's going to be me or him, and I do not intend to let it be me. Hopefully, I can pull it off this time. Oh, he failed his ranging there? There we go. Perfect parry. Dash over to the ballista. Pull up. And it doesn't look like it's lined up properly. Oh, it is! That's what I was looking for. That could be the deciding factor, people. We are now just going to blast him down. He is in a terrible position, and he chooses his moves poorly. Oh, thank you so much, Ballista. You are the real MVP. The Ballista is the one that achieved this victory. This is this beautiful feat of engineering. Oh, so perfectly aligned. You see, I had been making the mistake of trying to use this Ballista the entire time. This one, this is a cheap mockery of the true perfection that is this Ballista. Don't let anybody tell you different, folks. This one, right here, sitting quietly, half-shaded by the wall, 
This is the best ballista you will ever find. Wow. Let's let's forget about that little bit there and move on to far more difficult pastures. I can re-equip all my gear and my small shield when I get over to the tower apart, but wow, that was that was something else. It was sure frustrating, but it only took four attempts. I, I edited the run back to that last one, but it only took four in total. Don't worry, I didn't take any more off-screen attempts. I, I wanted you all to see the frustration and the failure that was <laughs> the, the pursuer for this fight. I can't imagine what would have happened if I'd have tried to take him on in his eagle arena. That probably would have been a recipe for disaster, but let's head out. Such a ridiculous cutscene. I mean, it is a callback to Dark Souls 1, but uh, it's still ridiculous. The giant bird. Look at me. Fabulous. <laughs> Let's zoom in again, re-equip our armor, and I'll make it to... Let's... No, I don't want the helmet. Just the armor pieces. Uh, yep. And I think I have time to make it over to Blacksmith McDuff. You know, on second thought, let's cut it here, folks. We've made some good progress. We took out a boss, and we're about to head into a new level. So this this will be a great stopping point. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, it's been an absolute pleasure. Sorry about all the failure on the Pursuer, but hopefully we'll have better luck next time. Like, comment, subscribe. I'd love to engage with you in the comments below. I really, really have a lot to say about this mod. So thank you so much for watching and have a nice day.